What is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King John 64, and today I'll be talking about the customization of Ghost Recon Wildlands. Now, I know a lot of people are already wondering, like, what can we customize in this game? And for those people who haven't downloaded the beta yet, you are missing on a lot. So, on the weapon side, though, let's start with the weapons. You can actually customize so many parts. Look at this stock, scope, trigger, magazine, under barrel, rail, barrel, and the muzzle. That's more parts in the division, to be honest. Uh, the division, you can only uh, customize the scope, the, I believe, the barrel. I mean, the, not the barrel, the magazine, and the muzzle. Very few parts. And this game, they took the gun apart, which is amazing. And uh, so, so, yeah, you can customize your weapon to any color you want, especially by parts. As you can see, let me color the stock to black. And there you have it. We got ourselves a black stock. Let me customize my uh, little side to like tan. And now I got myself a tan. And let me customize something big, the rail. Or no, it's not the rail actually. The barrel, let me customize it to like freaking brown. And pretty much you got yourself a rainbow weapon sometimes. But also you can color with just presets. You got a lot of customization right there too. Put whatever color you want and pretty much your gun is go. So the appearance but you can customize, let me change the outfit by the way, and by the way you can save up to 6 outfits. So that's a good thing as you can see, let me, let me show you the guys the sets. Set number 1 is just my heavy self, pretty much heavy set, a bunch of armor. And then set number 2 is my ghillie suit, as you can see he has ghillie suits all the way to the pants. Amazing. And then my set number 3, I believe it's cowboy, yeah there it is, cowboy, and set number 4 is just a random street thug and then number five and number six I didn't use it at all yet but but yeah that's my customization on some of these characters and um, you can create guys can create your own set so let me let me start off with number one I believe yeah number one so I can show you guys a little bit more easier the facial hair I mean you got a lot of choices the lumberjacks pretty much the longest one and then you can end up being a little porn star from the 70s so yeah there's that and then also I got a mullet and then there's mohawk cornrows ponytail I mean, a little bit of, it's like very few options to be honest on the haircut, but what can you do? You're running around in the desert, you don't have enough time to kind of style your hair out there. You got a little bit of colors too. There's not enough colors unless you want to be part of an anime. And then facial detail, you can scar your face several, like, several different ways. I got myself the bump, pretty much a little sticker in the, in the nose. Body details is the tattoos. You got some options, some cool options, by the way. Not gonna lie, some of these are pretty awesome. Santa Maria, several different. I got the Battle Cross, amazing stuff. <laughs> that one's funny though. Like, who's, whose family is that? That's not mine. Especially that one. I'm not. I'm not Asian. I'm Latino. I mean, come on, man. So there's the flag and eagle, America. Okay. So you got a lot of tattoos. You got some T-shirts uh, that you can equip under the armor. And also you can take off the armor just in case you're wondering, just put none, and there you have it. No armor, put it on a freaking tank top and let's go to war. There you go, there's my character right there. So yeah, you can you can customize many ways as possible. It's regular long shirt, t-shirt, uh, shirt, tactical, sweater, sweaters, long sleeve shirts, everything, anything you want. It's in the game. So, and also you can get this in the Ubisoft Club later on I believe. Or after the beta, I think it's after the beta, from what I heard of. Let me just put my t-shirt back and my vests. The heavy vests. And yes, all of them do have a little bit of a difference, just in case you are wondering. Then this one has the little solid plate, the, the little mesh going on. This is a regular, you know, uh, it's called armor. And then this one doesn't have the armor, but it has the, the straps. And then it's done. So... There's many ways you can customize this. There's a little bit of footwear, not that much. I wish there was some kind of sneakers. You know, kind of mash it up a little bit. And then we got the ghillie suits option. There you have it, the ghillie suit. You get the strands, the most epic one, the woodsman. And then also you can customize your pants. Where's the pants? The pants. I didn't even show the pants here. This, there's uh, very few options for the pants, though. Most of them are cargo or just jeans. Like, I, I don't see the difference between all of them. Maybe just an extra pocket, like this one doesn't have the pocket, so it's not a cargo. And then there's the ghillie strands. Either that one or that one. But there's only two, though. So. 
So those are the ghillie suits, the accessories. I mean, you can change the eyewear to whatever you want. The night patch, you can look like Middle Gear right there, like Solid Snake. Freaking uh, goggles. Uh, what else? There's plastic sunglasses turned into hips turn into the game. Gold sunglasses. There's different ways you, un you can unlock this stuff just by looking to the top right. Uh, defeat Boy or Boston and everything. Uh, and you can wear none, of course. A lot of options. Face wear. Oh, this one's interesting, though. You can wear like a freaking full mask right there like I have it on my first character uh, let me show you guys special outfits set zero I kinda love this one the most though cuz I don't know it looks mysterious <laughs> so anyways uh, more face wear let me show you guys more face wear than bandana of course I'm pretty sure like around 60% of the community is gonna wear this uh, what else we got here the DM the DM scarf and the skull bandana I'm pretty sure everybody's gonna want that one kind of look like that movie that comes out in Halloween what was it married a dead bride or something like that I'm not sure what's the name of it there's a lot of options so oh, so you can have a gas mask I forget about that where is it oh and also the full armor mask I wish I wish I can customize you know the, the mask like uh, army of two that would have been amazing but no we don't have you can ha also have backwards cap for the first time ever in so many video games you finally have a backwards cap like what the fuck man Everybody has it. And there's no 50-50 caps. So that's kind of a letdown for those hipsters who wants to wear 50-50 caps. And then also this regular helmet. The only way you can make it loose, look like less nerdy-ish, because I know it looks a little bit weird, is by adding, you know, let me show you guys. So you, can, you guys can make it look a little bit better. You always got to add the headset. Add the headset and you'll look a little bit better with that helmet. Just in case you're wondering on wearing the helmet, just add the headset and it's going to look a little bit better. So that's the only way you can save that little gear and you'll be alright. Let me change the head, the the cap back. Let me change the headset out. I had the headset A, I believe. Yeah. Was that what the handwear? You can change gloves, fingerless gloves, pretty much just like few options. Not much to go. Backpacks, there's many backpacks. And let me show you guys the ones that everybody wears sometimes at school because they're about to join the military. This one. Everybody wears those. Everybody. If you're currently in school, everybody wears these backpacks that are in the ROTC. Right? And I'm not making fun of them, though. That's pretty much... I'm just pointing it out. I'm just throwing it out there that many of these people wear these backpacks. It's pretty much standard issue. Like it, it kind of said... Oh, never mind. This is standard issue. But everybody wears this one. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. It took a little bit to load there. I don't know why. But yeah, that's my backpack right there, my little drone. The last backpack is freaking uh, GR Network, I believe. Yeah, you got to access the Ubisoft. Club. Okay. I did access, but I haven't unlocked it yet. I don't know why. And then there's the biggest one there is. Freaking large-ass backpack. It's like you're carrying a whole brick back there or your whole house. Also, you can change the patches, some few flags, the brands. Not that much to choose from, to be honest. I wish they were like a 50 or something. And that's about it. You know, pretty much miscellaneous, not much to choose from. The patches appear on your shoulder if you do have more, like, positions for your patches. Like, uh, for example, I know my cap has it. Yeah, my cap has the same patch. You see the use flag with the camo going on? Yeah, like, that's the way it will show up. So, that's pretty much it, guys. That's pretty much what you can customize. Also, before you jump into the game, it's going to allow you to change faces. There's like around seven faces available, and also for the females too. Seven faces for each side, or eight. Seven or eight. And that's a good amount, to be honest. That's more than Division, I think. I think. And now you guys can correct me. So anyways, that's about it, people. Just want to show you guys uh, what, to expect, what to expect in customization. Pretty much a lot. A lot to go on compared to the division this is something that the division really needed to be honest it really really needed all this customization but we didn't get it towards the end so that is it people if you guys want to see more ghost recon wildlands make sure you subscribe for more because it's going to be more stuff coming up